It has already been more than a month since Cyclone Ida ravaged through eastern Africa. The city disaster relief team continues to conduct aid distributions in Zimbabwe. Recently, they have made their way to Zaka to distribute relief supplies to 170 affected households. The recipient expressed their gratitude through song and dancing. Let's see what the current status is. We went to the mayor's office to understand how we can conduct the aid distribution, as well as the procedures of home visitation that the government hopes us to go through. Zizi's disaster relief work in Zimbabwe continues. This is the Chinorumba area in Zaka. In order to distribute aid supplies to 170 affected households, the volunteers visited local government officials first. After reaching a consensus with the government, volunteers began their preparation work. We asked the affected residents to help us transport aid supplies to the distribution site. Despite the shortage of manpower, volunteers figure out some ways to overcome difficulties. The distribution was conducted under a big tree. After transporting rice to the venue, the affected residents sat under the tree, waiting to receive help. To make the affected residents feel warm, volunteers changed the familiar Tsuji song, We Are One Family, into the local native language. The residents also responded with songs and dances. and affected residents overcame language barriers this way. They were just like one big family. Uh, Under a joyful atmosphere, the residents received aid supplies and love from Global City volunteers. I'm very thankful to Dharma Master Zheng Yan and Tsuji volunteers. The aid supplies they brought to us are of great help to us. I feel very grateful. I hope you can continue to help Zimbabwe and other countries in need. With Tsuji's disaster relief, the Chinurumba area is now full of love and hope and has restored its vitality.